What's up, y'all? Knight's Edge here again. Got another quick little uh, review of uh, three knives, actually. So you got three and one here today, right? But uh, this is uh, courtesy of Mr. Eddie underscore 411. Uh, give him a follow on Instagram. Great guy. Got a lot of really cool knives. Um, take some really cool pictures, too. So give him a follow on uh, Instagram. It's courtesy of him that I'm able to take a look at these. And um, in case you haven't already liked the video, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel if you want more content. Um, all my contact info and other platforms I'm on are down below, Instagram, TikTok, email. Best way to get a hold of me is probably email or uh, DM on Instagram. And uh, all that's linked down below in the description. And I appreciate that. Appreciate everybody that's, uh, that's already subscribed, liked the channel, reached out. All the support's been amazing, guys. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> so um this is probably gonna be a quick little i'm just gonna do some basic specs and uh overalls of all of these three knives but uh these are some of spider co's uh slippets they call them slip joint knives uh these are actually manufactured in their uh china plant that they have and uh spider co's out of china are quality controlled pretty well um they, they are made out of cheaper materials, but the family uh, over or the family that is running the Chinese plant has uh, known uh, Sal Glesser for quite a while. So the, the Chinese uh, Chinese factory is nothing to scoff at with Spyderco. I mean, they make some pretty good uh, low price uh, budget stuff for sure. And these are pretty neat. Um, these are mostly what you consider like keychain knife, you know, or whatever, especially like that one down there. So, um, names of these overhaul, I'll go through it right now. This is the, this is the grasshopper. This is the honeybee and this is the spider -co bug, right? So that's, uh, they're all essentially the same knife, just, uh, different sizes. So you got a, a small, which is really the large then you got a medium which is really a small small and then you've got a small which is really a small 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 so uh this is like the smallest of the small this is the the bug really little little bitty tiny knife so i'll go ahead and get a closer look at them um this says uh 8cr on blade hq's website i'm gonna link them all down below this is 12c27 which might be the same thing uh, as, as uh, see, it's in Spider Coast China plant. Might be the same thing as uh, as 8CR, but uh, that's what it says on the blade on all of these, I believe. Spider Co on that. China on that. See, that one doesn't say the steel on it, it just says Spider Co. That's the honeybee. And this little guy, let me get him opened up. The bug, all right. My fingerprints all over that. I'm gonna have to wipe it back down um, before I send it back to Mr. Eddie for sure. These are all almost brand new coming out of the box, or there they are brand new. So uh, anyway, go ahead and do overall measurement. Um, never done three knives at once, so bear with me here. You got five inches overall on this one, on the grasshopper. Um, blade length, you're looking at right at two and an eighth on the blade length. And, uh, or no, you're looking at right at two and three eighths on the blade length. Cutting edge, you're looking at right at two and an eighth. On the, uh, the honeybee, straighten it out there. On the honeybee, you're looking overall at three and three quarter overall length on it from the tip of the blade to the butt of the handle uh blade length one and three quarter cutting edge one and a half and on the bug the littlest of the little here small 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 you're looking at three inches overall and you're looking at one and three ace on the blade length and right at one and a quarter on the cutting edge on that one so i would consider that one probably like an ideal keychain knife, you know, really all of them, you know, they've got that little spot right there for, uh, you know, the little bead thing goes through the keychain, whatever. 
um, or a lanyard, whatever. They don't have pocket clips, um, but these are pretty much perfect for that in that regard. Uh, blade stock thickness. Go ahead and get out the calipers here. So you're looking at 61 thousandths, thickest part of the spine. Then as part of the blade, you're looking at 18 thousandths on that one, on the grasshopper. On the honeybee, thickest part of the spine, if you can call it thick, 44 thousandths. Thinnest part of the blade, or thinnest part right behind the edge, cutting edge right there, if I can get in there, is all right, 20 thousandths, 21 thousandths or so. And on the bug, you're looking at 36 and a half thousandths, even thinner blade stock. And it goes down all the way to a 13 and a half, right at 13 and a half thousandths above the apex or where the bevel begins, cutting edge. Uh, handle width 0.19 on the bug, on the honeybee 0.20. And on the grasshopper, 0.21, grasshopper the thickest, but they're all still pretty small, pretty thin. Go ahead and do some size comparisons here, and I'm going to do them all at once, so I'm going to need to spread these out, I guess. All right, Spyderco Paramilitary 2. There you go. That tells you all you need to know about the size of it, right? So pretty, uh, pretty small, right? Grasshopper. That's the honeybee, and way, way bigger. The, the paramilitary two looks like a sword compared to the bug, right? So you get out the pair of three, a little smaller, but still ginormous compared to the bug, and still large compared to the honeybee, and still pretty large compared to the uh, grasshopper. So definitely gives you an idea of the scale of them anyway. All right, so now we get out Ontario Rat Model 1. It's a Rat 1 compared to all of them, way bigger. Rat 2. Way bigger. <laughs> and let's see, here's a... Uh, Cold Steel, or yeah, Cold Steel, 8010. Comically larger. Comically larger than the bug, for sure. And way, way larger than the grasshopper. And we'll get out the baby banner. So, compared to the baby banner, actually go butt to butt like that it's only uh baby banners only got it by maybe half an inch overall you know and as far as the cutting edge as far as the cutting edge the grasshopper's got the baby banner actually beat way larger than the bug and i would get out the blue jeans but uh there's no pocket clips so you can uh you can't put it you can put it in your pocket but you can't clip it to the side of your pocket so the largest one the grasshopper coming in at 1.2 ounces pretty light the uh honeybee coming at 0.6 ounces and the bug 0.4 ounces let me make sure i got that right 0.5 I'm going to go with 0 0.4, 0 0.4 of an ounce. So under half an ounce on the bug, incredibly light. I would, if I was to go for a keychain knife, um, the bug would be it. I, I would go for the bug for sure. Number one, because I support Spyderco and, you know, I'm a Spyderco nerd. They're my favorite knives. But uh, number two, it's, it's really light. And uh, I just did a little mini cut test on it where I cut a little piece of rope or normal size piece of rope it cut through it fine took a minute 
but uh cut through it just fine and then slice paper before and after so not really too bad at all i would say stainless steel on the handles um they're all enclosed i believe yep they're all enclosed you don't have to worry about lint and stuff like that getting in there there's no lock on any of them pretty tight little lock up on all of or not lock up you know but uh walk and talk i guess you'd call that on a slip blade right or a slip joint overall i would say if, i mean if you're looking for a keychain knife the price of these um the grasshopper runs right at around uh 29 i believe it is let me double check that real quick before i tell you wrong uh let's see spider co grasshopper 29.25 uh the the 2925 for the grasshopper the honeybee i keep getting them mixed up but uh the honeybee right around um i think let me make sure 100 percent on this honeybee you're looking at 2625 right now blade hq for the honeybee and on the bug the smallest of the small uh, there's a sale right now. Well, it says our price anyway on Blade HQ. I'm gonna have them all linked down below in the description. But uh, $22.50. Good little keychain knife for $22.50. Um, quality product from Spyderco. You know, I mean, this isn't their most high-end production knife by any means. <laughs> Probably their lowest-end production knife. But I trust Spyderco's lowest-end Chinese production knife more than I trust something I'm getting out of. Uh, the claw machine at Chuck E. Cheese or a gas station or something like that. You know, I mean, they're, they're reputable, reputable, great company. They make great products. And, uh, these are all pretty good knives for, for what they are, you know, which are basically for these two, for sure, a keychain knife. And that's not a bad little slip joint, you know, to throw in kind of like the ashtray or, you know, just something like that. Uh, next, uh, the office, uh, by your desk, something like that to open envelopes, uh, you know, good good little knife to get you out of a jam there. So anyway, that is the Spyderco Grasshopper, Spyderco Honeybee, and Spyderco Bug old knives. Um, going to be linked down below. Like I said earlier, y'all check out Mr. Eddie underscore four eleven on Instagram. Give him a follow. Uh, he's got a lot of good stuff, and it's courtesy of him I get to look at these knives. And uh, if y'all haven't already, uh, like the video. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me. I appreciate it. Everybody that's already subscribed and has supported me so far, it's, it's y'all are wonderful. Awesome. I, I really appreciate it. Um, so until the next one, hope you have a good afternoon, morning, even night, whatever you're watching this, whatever time of day you're watching this. And um, I will see you guys on the next one. Later.